All right, Stephanie here, 492W, CPD number nine. Talking about risk management, um, business design, and then we're looking at simple and unexpected from made to stick. All right, key points here with CPD number nine. When we're talking about risk management, we're talking about creating a safe environment. One thing you wanna look at doing is pre-screening, pre and post evals and tests. Uh, fitness assessment could be safety orientation and then more importantly having a risk management plan we're going to use some use a simple principle and the unexpected with marketing but also with uh, risk management here and we'll review then made to stick why we're using that one more time so health law ideas with number nine when we get into risk management and simple and unexpected what you want to think about is what are some safety facts again about the health law what were their goals what were their objectives? What were some specific strategies? So let's go back to the beginning there and reassess that now that we know a little bit more about it. Then we can look at with the made to stick is how did the government um, find ways to make that simple to educate their clients? Again, go back to those original videos we did on the Affordable Care Act, I believe in week two, and on insurance. And then how can we use health law in our marketing plan? Think of unexpected ways to incorporate points about health law that will impact your customers, but help get their attention and then help them want to be with your business. Again, be creative in applying made to stick principles into your health law education. As simple as facts. Some health law continued here. There's some technology pieces here from Forbes magazine. Um, but real simple, what you want to do is there's some new uh, laws, some trends that started with the, the Affordable Care Act. More importantly, they looked at putting uh, uh, electronic health records into the, into the hospital industry. Again, there was some negative there because, again, it took a lot of billable hours to make that transfer. But the, the, uh, the pro with that is, is now with... Uh, electronic records, we can transfer information and share information all over the world. So there's connectedness. Again, some other ideas, there's a couple uh, links here. We can just look at different, uh, three different links where it talks about equipment, uh, some medical equipment, diagnostic equipment, and then Medicare and so forth. Uh, again, the question is what impact did or does the Affordable Care Act have on medical technology, Medicaid, Medicare, all those different things? Get facts. So how can we make health law simple and how can we use that to educate and market our business? And then lastly, look at medical technology and the Affordable Care Act, the impact it's having now and into the future. So risk management, number one, safety plan for your business is what we're talking about. You wanna create a safe environment. So be proactive. You should put this into your staff training. You should look at certifications. We can look at equipment. It's as simple as now connecting all the dots here where we're going back to our expenses and our financing. You would want to look at your equipment of doing a cycling of how you purchase and replace equipment. So if we're in a fitness facility, uh, you don't want to go ahead and replace 20 different machines all the same year. If you're on a two-year cycle, you would do half of them, 10 one year, and then 10 the next. So you have a consistent budget line item on your equipment expenses. Other things are looking at layout, having buffer and space for safety. And then next we get into legal factors. This is what we talked about with the pre-screening, health appraisals, testing pre and post. And then last, more importantly, you just need to have uh, documentation of everything you're doing. Uh, in the fitness industry, they talk about incident reports, but uh, it would be simple. That's where the pre-screening, post-screening comes in. A business safety checklist is highly recommended. Again, educate your staff and clients. What are the core components when it comes into uh, health law and how it impacts the clients and the business you're working with? A good example is that pre-existing loophole that we've talked about before. Sell the positives. Again, it's talked about in Made to Stick breaking their guessing machine. So if you can give simple, sound, efficient information that's in a positive light, that's a great marketing tool with the use of health law.
So workshop number one, just pause here and make a safety plan or checklist, which you'll end up using with uh, your finer business plan and then what you want to emphasize um, in that business plan and in that marketing plan. Again, when we start to talk about safe, simple, and unexpected, look at those health and safety facts, goals, objectives, strategies. What, again, how can you make health loss simple? Educate your clients. And again, how can you market it unexpected? Be creative. But again, using facts and reference and cite that. That's the importance of that. Credibility. Number two, application to your business design. What we want to do here is make your business design and your marketing plan have a core to it, meaning uh, that purpose you've talked about, but make it very compact. Second one is the unexpected is you just get rid again of those gaps of curiosity. Uh, again, you want to use, start with a knowledge base, something they're aware of that'll make sense and that creates that connection and fills the gap. So the idea here is to engage people in a new topic, topic by highlighting some things they already know. Here's what you know. But now is here's what you're missing. What else we can do? So workshop number two, pause here. How can you create curiosity with your business using the Heath Brothers gaps theory? Okay, number three application. Talking about tapping existing memory markers. Again, compact ideas are stickier. So what again we want to do is go to know our audience, know what they already know and then tap into that. So workshop number three, what are some existing memory markers you can tap into with your audience, okay, for uh, your marketing plan? Pause here and let's do that. Application number four now. This is where we're gonna take and start to build this marketing plan. So unexpected, how do you get their attention and how do you keep it? One way is to surprise them, so you kind of break their guessing machine. The example they used was the Nordies, um, uh, Nordstrom's, where they make the customer so happy uh, at the expense of efficiency. So you're not very efficient, but the customer is completely happy. So that extra mile uh, does a lot for them. Interest is the second one. Again, it's just about, again, filling those gap, curiosity gaps and help them kind of refine their memory machine or their interests. So workshop number four, pause here. How can you surprise and keep that interest for your clients? And let's go back to that number one client, that cash cow, okay? So pause here and do that.